I, I swam, I always had a pool in my backyard, so I knew how to swim from a very young age, and I was always really competitive. Um, but I was never on a swim team, I guess, until like eighth grade, right before high school. Um, and I was on like a summer league swim team and uh, kind of went from summer league, progressed into club swimming, and then club swimming really just took off, and now here I am. Why did you get into that summer league team? Uh, I was moving back from, I, I moved to Arkansas. Okay. So I swam a little bit while I was in Arkansas. And when I moved back from Arkansas, um, I was like, I got to meet, I got to meet some new friends, kids are my age that aren't like going to be going to my high school. I don't know why. I just really wanted to meet some more friends. And, uh, I, I was decently good at swimming and I was just like, huh, might as well. Um, I wasn't doing a sport at the time. I mean, basketball in California is like a winter sport. So I'd be finishing right about now. And, uh, it's like, I might as well try swimming. So I tried swimming just because I've always had a pool in my backyard, like I said, and uh, it worked out. I, I was supposed to be on the varsity team, but the coach was like, all right, do you want to be on varsity? I was like, no, can I be on JV? All my friends are on JV. So I swam JV swimming my freshman year of high school, and then I moved up to Washington following my freshman year of high school, and uh, I was like, all right, I either have, my dad was basically like, all right, sophomore year of high school, if you want to compete in either of these sports at the Division One level, you have to make a choice on what you want to do. And I was like coming off being a summer league swimming champion. And I was like, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with swimming. Uh, I was a bench warmer, honestly, on basketball. Like I was playing behind, uh, do you know the Eagles tight end, or for, sorry, former Eagles tight end uh, in American football. Uh, he's now the... Cardinals tight end, Zach Ertz. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his wow. little brother was starting above me. So oh, uh, he's actually a pitcher for uh, University of Pacific, I believe, for baseball now. Nice. But basically, uh, you know, his 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 brother was 6'9 his freshman year. I think I was 6'2 or something like that. I mean, he's an absolute beast. You just lob him in the post, and he's going to score every point. So basically... Uh, I didn't get to play much, and I was like, you know, I might try my uh, try my cards at swimming. I guess that's so interesting. So you got into it because of your friends at first, yeah, and then you just took a bet to to chase that D one dream, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Both my cousins before me had played Division one volleyball, okay. and I was the third oldest cousin. And they were like, "Are you gonna Are you gonna continue the legacy?" Um, so yeah. Did you consider volleyball with your height or no? There wasn't a lot of whole, like, men's club volleyball around, but yeah. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Um, and, I mean, you talked about that moment when, when you had to choose, um, which I can somewhat relate to, like, at one point my dad also, like, sat me down early in high school, and he's like, you know what, like, you can choose to do whatever you want to do, but if you're going to chase mm -hmm. something greater, you have to like, take it a bit more seriously. And, yeah. and I think we all have that moment when we have to realize it. But you went from... Being with your friends, choosing JV instead of varsity. Yeah. When did when when was the moment that everything changed? Because, I mean, one thing is to swim D one, and another thing is to swim at a program like Cal Swimming, right? Like that's mm -hmm. just a different level, and you talk about it a lot on your vlog. So yeah, how was that transition, and when did you when did you commit, and what was that process like? Um, yeah, so it didn't take place for probably not about another year. Like I, I joined a club swim team up in Washington. And I really wasn't committed to it. Like, I, I was still considering playing basketball. Um, and I don't think it was until, um, like, the spring or summer of my sophomore year going into junior year that I switched club teams and I started taking it seriously. Like, a coach finally believed in me, and I kind of believed in him. He was a – I'm a backstroker, and he was a Canadian Olympian backstroker. Like, he made the semifinals at the Olympics, and I was like – he swam at the University of Texas, which was our biggest competition. And uh, I was like, okay, this guy is legit. Like, this is someone who could really guide me in uh, my swimming career. And then he left me four months later, and I got another coach who ended up being the best coach of my life, honestly. I'd say uh, he got me to where I am today. So, yeah. That's awesome. And and when was it that you ended up committing? Like, at what yeah, point? Yeah, sorry, that, that summer, I that guess you would summer. say. Okay, and that was your junior year. You going said? into my junior year. Going in. Oh, okay. So you knew for a while. Yeah. Um. What changed after that? Did anything change in your focus, or not really? Yeah, for sure. My focus really changed. I'd say. Um. I really was. I don't know how to even describe it, but basically, like, I was a hundred percent locked in on swimming. I'd go to school, get my schoolwork done, but from the hours of like three p.m. to like eight p.m., I was swimming or working out in the gym, and. I, it just like it was a really a mentality shift, I guess you would say. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and 
really I'd started to see it in the times, you know. Soccer is a team based sport, it's all about points, but in swimming or track, uh, it's all about the times. And so once you see those times start dropping, then you start having the phone ringing and uh, people are asking, like, hey, are you interested in swimming in college? It's fun though. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've mentioned that a lot too, and it's it's part of, I yeah, I don't think I've told you on the podcast, we were talking about it before, but it's part of why I've become a fan of just swimming. You know, I've, I've been a fan of track for a few years now. I mm -hmm. ran tra track just once my freshman year of high school, but since then I've like had a lot of respect for it because like you said, I'm used to playing soccer my entire life. Yeah. And that's a team sport. Um, the result is very objective, but what happens during the 90 minutes is quite subjective, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I like how objective the times are. Yeah. It's, it's black and white, you know? Um, and, and that's something I, I really like. So, yeah, that makes sense with, with your times. 